What up guys? It's Joe with Bass Union here. Finally, finally doing a video out of the new boat. We're on Lake Orville, about to get this thing wet. Man, the last few months have been absolutely crazy. First tournament out of this thing, fish it on Lake Shasta, new gen TOC, won a dang boat. Which that boat is for sale right now. So hit me up, email me bassunionfishing at gmail.com. Check out the socials, I put some pictures right here. But this Ranger is for sale, it's a Z518 with a 150 fully rigged. It's got a Minn Kota Maxim and two Lowrance nine inch graphs and 0.1 GPS. So the thing's set up, ready to get in the water. And I got it listed at 54,000 OBO right now. So make me an offer, guys, trying to get rid of this thing. In the last video, I mentioned it. We, we haven't done an actual video yet fishing out of this thing. Haven't brought the cameras out yet. I wish I would have got some footage from Shasta. So unfortunately, there's not going to be any tournament footage from that. We got too many things coming up here at Shasta. So hopefully you guys understand. But uh, hopefully today we can catch some fish, get some footage for you, and see how the bite is on Lake Orville. You know, it's been a minute since we've been out here. Last weekend we had a Club Classic. It took about a little over 13 pounds to win it. And uh, I was up with 36 boats. So it sounds about right. That's kind of what I was guessing. 13, 13 to 15 to win, a few 12 pound bags, and then tent, some tens, and then just drop from there. Looking like a beautiful day. We got a little, just a slight breeze. And launching out of the spillway over here, it's a perfect elevation for launching. Look at this, I mean, look at this parking lot. Completely empty. Oh, nope, we got one, one rig here. But look at this. Huge, huge launch ramp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lanes, two big old docks. So, I don't wanna hear any of you guys complaining about uh, having access to this lake right now. Get out and enjoy it while you can. But, we're gonna get this thing wet, see what happens. Got a special guest, got my brother Daniel. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This guy, he's been out a handful of times with me fishing and it's gonna be awesome to get him on some fish and have him ripping some lips. So you excited for today? Looking forward to it. All right, let's have some fun, huh? Hey, I'm real proud of this guy. This guy's been an RN for how long? I don't know. A while. It's Over like 10 two, years, huh? Way more. Yeah, 10 years RN, 10 plus. four years, you know, a couple years. Yeah, this guy, he's, he's over there saving lives and, and always looking out for people. So, really love this guy and it's awesome to get on the water. So, let's go rip some lips. Bye, you bro! Not bad, huh? We got, a, got up to 74 right there with two guys. Boat's completely full of gear. I've had this thing up to 77 so far with just me out on the after bay. So this boat scoots. What do you think? It's going 75 miles per hour. And my mouth was like <laughs> So I just tied up one of our weedless starter heads. This thing's gonna be perfect for Daniel. You know, he can drag that thing along down on the bottom of all this rock and and trash down there without having to worry about getting hung up but this thing's going to incorporate a nice spiral action on the fall so these fish if they're in that kind of mood they're going to grab it on the way down or when he pops it and i'm going to rig up these are one of uh jamie over at north valley tackle his little special uh robo worm colors he got special ordered it's called smoke great jamie's been posting all these pictures catching a ton of fish out here go down to that bend pop it out run it all the way up past the meat right there get it flush with the head and then right where it figure out where it's going to come through you want that thing just skin hooked so nice slim slim line presentation these fish we're gonna destroy this thing. Ah. 
fish has come so close to eating it. I could see the fish follow me. It's so frustrating. There we go. Finally, right in this mud line. Not a bad little guy. <laughs> See, you got that bottom, that bottom hook. See that? Got that little finesse swim bait. With a bladed A rig. Take it. Little guy. Mm. There we go. Ooh, that's a better one. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We got that finesse A reef. Bladed. Take it. You gotta burn this thing. These fish are up shallow right now. And we got a little mud line. We're loving that stuff right now, this little little chop we got going. So I'm just kind of treating this thing like a spinner bait and covering a ton of water and hitting these mud lines. Trying to get a big one. I was, like I said, pound and a half. So looking looking all right. We're on the right track. Old drop shot. This is drop shot fish. We had all these fish sitting right under us. So with live scope and sonar, I was able to put that drop shot down there. Just dangle in front of their face until it bit. Look at that hook placement. <laughs> this is an owner uh, mosquito hook, size one. Ran out of drop shot weight, so I just tied on literally a, a flipping tungsten weight. It's getting the job done. But this little breeze is just piling these fish in this corner or in this little pocket. I'm liking that smoke grape color. It's nice when you get a little school of them underneath the boat and they're willing to bite. You can just keep dropping right on them and see how many you can catch. Took my worm. Some fish right below us. Try to get Dale behind the camera to hook one of these things. He's too busy playing with these. Uh, he just got a what's that camera called? Pocket three. A DJI Pocket, Pocket, Pocket three. three. He's been kind of showing me. Might have to get me one of those things. It's pretty sick. You vlog with it and might might get one to mount to the console so I can get some sick footage. But yeah, I'm just this drop shot's the way to go right now if you want to catch some numbers. But put the camera down, Dale. Let's go catch you some fish. The boys on the board. Here. <laughs> nice, bro. Oh, check him out. Check him out. Crazy. Open your bail. Give it yourself some slack, dude. See how his lines go tight. Bail there you open. Go. Don't now close it. Close it. There okay. Now right. just, just don't get. Grab them. your lip. Fish from the lip. All right, just don't get hooked, right? Hey, little dude. Just grab and get, get a good grip on him. Right, first fish of the day. How'd that one feel? I uh, felt like you showed me a little bit here and there. Grab it, do it, do your thing. It's kind of crazy you. I can see your bait and everything on that live scope, huh? It's insane. It's like back to video games. <laughs> See, drop it down. See that sink back down? He probably just had the tail. See, now you're right back in the strike position. He bit at it, so you know he might buy it again. There you go, real. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All oh, I worm. Don't want a real epic tip. That's how you broke a rod right there. Do, do, do. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
is number two. So the hook got lost. The worm. Oh, it's up there. Later, dude. We'll see ya. Where are we? Is that it? Oh, yeah. It felt like For it. real. It's not a snag, right? Yeah, that's no, it. that's a fish. That's it. If you need to loosen your drag, uh, the drag, you turn it counterclockwise. Hold on. I need to? Yeah. Why, what is that? Do? It's a good one. That's because they're... Why well, do you need to loosen your drag? So if it tries to take off your line... Mm -hmm. Here, hold on, right there. Ooh. <laughs> you see it. Keep your hand. There he is. That boy. I've been sitting on the same school of fish for like a half hour now, and finally we got a good one out of it. Right. That boy all by himself, too. Crazy. How you, how's that one feel? Feels uh, like a fish. Too. Nice. Even I haven't poked myself yet. Took the Not hook bad. out on his own and everything. What? This, this is why I love Lake Orville. You can take people that haven't fished before and get them on fish. <laughs> All right. Good job, Adios. Dan. Adios. Well, I was trying to grab the net. Too late. He already did it. Well, just both flipped him. He got that back, that middle, uh, that middle hook. The thing was trailing it. See him on the live scope. Just slow rolling that thing, giving it a little pops here and there, and trying to trigger the bite and slurp it down. How do you do it? Slurp it. <laughs> but yesterday I had um, wow. I had those Easy Shiners rigged up, and I switched to these little 2.8 Kitex. Yesterday they were just getting behind it, and they weren't liking that profile of those four inches. It was a little too big but these uh these 2.8s are doing the deal and these are an electric shad and the top ones they got these little three inch easy shiners all bait fish profile so i know we're getting some bites with these 2.8s here's the fat kitex uh buddies over at g rat baits they gave me some packs i want to try out from uh i think they might do pretty good over here they just came out with these thin swims or four inch baits. So this color is, what color is this? Trout smolt. Looks pretty good. Kind of matches the pond smolt. Pond smelt that we got out here. I do like the fact that their baits have eyes in them. So that's pretty cool. One thing I noticed that the plastic is pretty, I wouldn't say rigid, but it's definitely, it's a little harder than the Kitex which I'm not mad at because on these A-rigs, these fish have a tendency to short strike and pull your bait off the hook. Um, you know, with, with our four barb keepers that we got on these swim bait heads, that helps that. But sometimes if that uh, swim bait's so soft, good luck getting your tail ripped off every time. But uh, I got a feeling these baits and our four barb keepers are going to keep this thing locked in place. Trying to rig this thing straight. There we go. So, looks good. I like that. He's getting short strip. There's a pile of fish under us. All those fish I'm pulling, they're getting right under the boat. That one, you both flip that one. Oh, uh, boat lift flip? It. Just lift it onto the carpet. Okay. A little more higher or what? Yeah. Put some lymph into it. No, no, no. Oh, this. Just, oh, okay. Because that's going to... I see. Now what? Uh, grab the... Yeah, grab the fish. Okay. Can you do Once you put their hands like that, they're locked in, huh? Like you yeah. Know. The bottom jaw, as long as you got a good grip on it, you got all the control on them. Oh, 
Well, that was a little better. All right, dude. <laughs> See you next time. Boom. Right on the bank. They get snappy. There we go. Told Daniel, let's work down to this point and let's just start burning some bank and got one on the the G rat thin swims. Getting a lot of followers and finally got one to commit to it. Got that middle hook. I like it. Nice, nice. See all these, these reeds sticking up? These fish will hang that stuff too. I said there's a group of them in there. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna get going. But yeah, so far I'm happy with this thing. Look it out for it on the website, if not when this video airs or not too long afterwards. So the bladed finesse A rig, Bass Union, baby. Caught them on Kitex, G Rat Thin Swims today, using little quarter ounce Bass Union finesse swim bait heads. The two odd hooks. With these thin swims, I'd probably go three odd. I think the two odd's just a little too small. Look at all the rips on this thing, and it's still holding, holding strong. The four bar bait keeper that we got with these jig heads, keeping that thing locked in place. Those bass sure have some sharp teeth. <laughs> so yep, check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming out, Daniel, and fishing with me. It was awesome. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I guess that's when you want me to turn it off.